Good morning, Rabbi Sai. Ah, Lili Nishmasimi Mirosi Ruspas Mordechai. This morning I was learning the sugya. We're going to get to it. Bezer Shem. It's a very long one. Very, very agadatish. This Tana cried. That Tana cried. So as I was reading it, each one they, they learned the pasuk and he cried about this. I was thinking to myself, did he really cry? Is it a muscle? Was he crying a lot? A little? Then I get a a message from Rabbi Yossi Rudensky. Good friend of mine, he dives there every morning. He says he's in Kennedy Airport, and you're not, he's not going to believe his eye. Does it? Can't believe it. Takes a picture, sends me a picture. Here's a picture. Turns out that this is Mo Landy. He's on his way here. And if you look closely, he's learning Maid Katan. He's not learning Chagiga. And I, I, I asked him, is it a stage picture? No, he just happened. I started crying. I, I got emotional. Here's a guy in an airport. He could do a lot of other stuff. He's doing Chazara. He's not even doing the Dab. He's doing Chazara. He's learning Torah. So I hope he comes here to the Beast Marriage. I want to ask him, what did you do a year ago when you were in the airport? I want to ask him. I want to find out. Eddie, I'm the story. He messaged me. The plan was the Chazara, the whole Masefda from the flight. Wow. Says Yosef Biliak that he messaged him that the plan is to do Chazara on the entire Mayat Katan. Real flight. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Here he is with the whole gear, with the sweatshirt, with the hat. This is Rabbi Yossi Rudensky. He used to give the shear here when I stopped giving, or when I couldn't give the night shear. I used to give a night shear, so he would be the Mamalamakam, the night shear. It's a Magit shear in Masifta. I think I mentioned or didn't mention, but anyway, unbelievable. Mamish gave me, gave me the chills when I saw it. Here, Rabbi Yossi. Read it first. This is from Yaakov Lang. Once again, this Friday, I had this chus with my kids to stand on Paran in Ramad Eshkol from 11.30 in the morning to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, giving out Gemaras. Baruch Hashem, we're able to get 18 people to sign up and join. He writes in parentheses, Moed Katan, we got 25. <laughs> Just want to let you know as well, the last one was Shabbos, when you came to Ramad Eshkol, someone asked me if they can come and see the live shear. Of course, they said the more guys, the better. The person texted me on Friday. This guy didn't want, he said he's not, he doesn't want to do the daf. He just wants to come, see what's going on, and eat a little food. It turns out that he joined the shir. Says, Yagulay Yishkoyach, and then you have in the picture of Tuli Feldstein and Dubi Spiro. Here they are. He's playing the music. He never meets Vevatar. Hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's in English. It's not for you. Keep on going. Shkoyach <laughs> Yaakov Lang, unbelievable. By the way, I wanted to bring his. Uh, he does salads for Shabbos. It's still the the, the micro. Came up. Okay, Shkoyach. If he's going to push my share, I'm going to push his salad. I should have brought one. He makes unbelievable dips. New York dips, I think it's called. New York style dips. New York something dips. Hey, what? New York style dips. They're, they're really the best. They sell them here in Bechemish also. All right, here it is. The Gansi Mishpacha, bringing the kids like we discussed yesterday. Bring the kids to Shul, bring the kids to, to sell Torah. If you look at it as if each person that joins, you get his char, so it makes sense. You sit in the middle of the street, you do whatever you can do. What else do we have here? We might gotta be prepared here. Sunday. Huh? Take a say every morning. Hold on, hold on. Okay, go for it. Take a say every morning. Hold on, hold on. Okay, go for it. Okay, Shkoya. This month's coil. Sponsored by Mr. Anonymous, Lili Nishmas, Chaya Bas Yosem, Sefaz Chagi is dedicated by the Kessel and Davis family, Rufu Shlema for me, Mr. Bas Dvar Bikharoi, Michael and Jamie Mello, Parnas Achaydish, in memory of Dvar Fegabat Shmuel, Menachem Mendel Ben Elchanam, Medin Nisham, Seven and Liam, Sheikh Shkom Bikharoi, Parnas Achaydish, Jonathan Eltis, that's the house that we wore yesterday, smashing success last night. Somebody came over to me, and a guy, I counted 140 people. I'm not going to go with that number. There were at least 100 people in the house. Now, that's the way to do it. Look, it's probably the nicest house in Ranana, one of the nicest houses in Eretz Yisrael. 
People came to see the house. I get it. But you know what? Like, like Yaakov Ling said, they came for the food, they, they got stuck learning Taira. But it was smashing success. So you should Jonathan Eltis. And he says, in honor of Jonathan Austin, he's also parents of Chaydish for introducing me to MDY. Rib David Posner from Thornhill, who now learns Mishnah Yisrael because of MDY, and of course, the rebellion for all that you do. Parents of Chaydish, as is Chos, for Fal Shlomo, Ben Lifsha, and Rivka Bazgila, that they should be Zoycha to Zeresh of Kayama Bekaroi. And Lili Nishmas, Reb Sholem Baruch Yudo, Zechorin Levracha, Ben Rabbi Yosef Yichil, Michal Shlita, Reb Yidi, Leibowitz, Reb Four Shlema, Shlomo Akon, Ben Mindel, and by Akiva Pill, in honor of my father, Yosef Pill, for joining. Looking forward to see him. And a shout out to Woody Wyman. I guess it's Woody again from Ahmed Bays. For getting me to join four Mesechites ago, Baruch Hashem. Came back last night, maybe 11.30 at night, but unprepared for today's shir. And the first thing I did is I made this chart. I just wanted just to share with you. This simple thing took me over an hour. So now we're at 12.30 without anything done yet. I had a basic idea of what the daf was about. And there it went from there. So just so you know, it doesn't, doesn't come easy sometimes. All right. We're holding on daf dalad and alif. And I have a question for the oil. How come it is, on Yanta we say, in the Mishaberach, Shom Aleichem to all the guests, to you, to all the guests, to you, who else do we have? Just landed. Who just landed? You just landed? Come here, Shom Aleichem. Get over here. Get over here. Who else just landed? Another guy just, two people just landed? Come here, Bemet. No, this is, this is picture time. Come, come, you and you, come. Maybe you're on the same flight. Get over here. Come, come, no. It's good. It's Mechazik Doylem. Eh, They mean he landed 14 days ago. Shalom Aleichem. The, the cops are out the door. They want to speak to you. You also come here, Bemet. You re- I'm, 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 I'm. When did you get here? I'm negative. You're negative. <laughs> Thank you. You got here this morning? No, Thursday. Thursday. Okay. Go back to your seat. I'm looking for guys that come this morning. Shalom Aleichem. What's your name? Eli Schumann. Schumann from London? London. Shalom Aleichem. Oh, I had a picture from London. Come, come. You come right now. Shalom Aleichem for coming. Thank Who you. else? What's your name? Ah, oh, Grosnas. You sent an email or something the other day. Can I remind you my golden dove? Remember? Which one? The golden dove? Remind me. I had a baby. Ah, that's right. You were learning with your baby. That's right. Mazel to Mazel of a girl. No? Nice, nice. So when did you arrive here? I just got the plane. Got off the plane and came straight to MDY. Who goes to the castle these days? MDY! <laughs> All right. So I have a question for the Olam. Why do we say she yiske lalois? What's the Lashon? Any gabayim here? Imko Yisrael Echov. Venoi Maromein. What's Imko Yisrael Echov? She yiske lalois l'regel. She bizaycha to come to Beis HaMikdash. What's Im Kal Yisrael Echav? And if it's not, if you're the only guy alive, so we might have an answer for that today. Ooh, why are you saying that? That is exactly the answer I wanted to say. Very good, Mechavin. I was genius. You like your son? Unbelievable. <laughs> Yo, look at that. Rabbi Steinert says that he shouldn't smell bad. That you should be zoich not to smell bad, because if you smell bad, you can't go with your brothers. You can't go with everybody else. That might be the answer. Grivaldic. Says the Gemara. So I have my thing here. I hope I didn't leave my, my little uh, guy, the, the pointer thing, in Renana. That would be really bad. But I don't have it here. I'll take your credit card. And I'm not giving it back. Okay. No, this is too heavy. I need something light. Okay. Omar Papa. Ishmiya Leila Rav Huna Hodasanya Ezu Shaita. The big question. Who's a Shaita? So yesterday. No, there's no good. Take it back. Eh, too big also. This is no good. Okay. That's why it's only what Rabbi Dambi gave me. This might be okay. Okay. Yesterday we had this. Who's a Shaita? If you do all these three things, you rip your clothes, you sleep in a cemetery, and you stay outside by yourself at night. Do these three things, shaita. What if you did one of these things? Not enough. You need all three. Says the Gemara, however, says Rav Papa, if Rav Huna would have heard 
He destroy he, he he loses everything you give him. You give him a gold watch, he loses it. You give him keys to the car, he loses it. Have a hadar bay. He would have taken it back. So Hamaabed, somebody that loses what you give him, is very sin, destroys. Well, destroys, okay, destroys what you give to him, yeah. Ma'abed, not loses, not not you're right. Is similar. Or exactly the same thing as number one here in this chart. Because he's ma'abed, he's destroying his clothing. So here you have ma'abed. Now, the b'raisa that says you must destroy something, obviously he's talking about three times. If a guy destroys his clothing once, he, does, he rips his shirt, he's not a shaita. He has to do it three times. Okay. Says the Gemara... So we have a question like this. Iboilu, ki hava hadar bay, mi mikara ksusa yehuda hava hadar bay? The dam yilaha. This, that Rav Huna is going to take it back. And if he, if he rips his clothing three times, he is a shaita. In other words, Rav Huna is going to take it back. You don't need three different actions, three different types of things. Even in one, if he does it three times, he's a shaita. V, ek, check, green check. This guy is a meshogana l'chal davar. Why? Because he did, he ripped his clothing three times. Similar to what the bride says, ma'abid koma shenoi So he would have taken it back. He would have had harata. In other words, he said initially it has to be three different things. Now he's saying even one thing. What is this? Maybe it's a good one. That's yeah, yes, right. Okay. Now he's saying even one out of the three, provided that he does it three times. The question is, asked the Gemara, is it only number one over here because it's similar to the Brisa, the word Ma'abed, it's tearing? Or even if you take this guy, number two over here, and you do it three times in a row, he's also a shaita. And that's the question. And the Gemara remains in a question. Slightly interesting Lashon here, but very, very simple. Yeah? Why? Because before that it was difficult? Get over here, Mendy. <laughs> Zoom in on him, Mendy. He said, what do you say? He just, he just said his Chavrusa didn't explain to him as well as this. I love it. His Chavrusa is my Chavrusa. It doesn't matter. Okay. No, it is a little tricky. It's simple, but it's tricky. In other words, we start out saying these three are necessary. Then the Bryce says, well, one of the three is, is okay. Rav Huna would agree to that. L'chayre, why? Because it's identical to number one over here. So the question is, if any three makes you a shaita or only number one because it's similar to Ma'abed. Teiku. We have to wait until Mashiach comes. Real quickly. What is the greatest gift that HaKadosh Baruch gives us on a daily basis? Time. It gives us life. What can you do with your time? Well, every minute you can learn 200 words of Torah, says the Chavetz Chaim. 200 times 613, because each word of Torah is worth 613 mitzvahs. 120,000 minimum, 120,000 mitzvahs per minute. Hey, Zu Shaita. Who's a Shaita? Zema'abed Komashan Oisenloi. Who gets rid of, who, who destroys and doesn't care about the gift that Hashem gives us. He can do good things with his time and he wastes it. Who's not a shaita? Molandi. Doing chazar the entire flight. Ah. Okay, we said that already. Says the Gemara of Etumtum Androgynos. Torah Bonam. Zachor Lahaiti Sanashim. So here's the apostle Grabo Isai. Shalish Pam Bashana Yira calls Zachurcha. So we have three Limudim here purple, red, and green. The word Zachurcha. Could be Zachar. Shalish Pam Bashana Yira Zachar. All males, Zachurcha teaches us something else. That what? Zachar, Lazi Sanashim. Zachar, not in a cave. Women are not Mukhuif to go up to be Euler Regal. Zachurcha, the extra chaf, Lazi, Tumtum Van Dragonos. Someone unknown, male or female. Either it's covered or he has both. It's an unknown. Call Zachurcha, the extra kaf lamid, call all. The rabbis is aktanim. To include the tanim, 
Miners must go up to the base. So, just going through the drasha now. Zachar loitzis anashim. The word zachar has come to exclude women. Halam alikra. Why do I need a pasuk? Famous cash and shas. Michdi misas asay shas magromo. This mitzvah is only three times a year. It's very specific to a certain time. Achom mitzvah asay shas magromo anashim turois. So automatically they become potter. You don't need a pasuk to say that a woman is potter. Itzrich sokatay dechamina. I love when the arts world gets all politically correct. And they start going into a drasha that women, they have to be at home with the children. It's not like we're biased against women, chas v'shalem. Okay, fine. I ain't chumped. They just do it to be, to make it nice to everybody. Did I make a brach on this? Yes. Thank you. Says the Gemara, okay, I do need a pasuk. It's a pasuk that I would think that we have this Xerish Shava from yesterday. It says by Hakel, this whole red parasha, it says, Leiroiz, and Shalish Poim Shani Yerah called Tzchurcha, Leiroiz, Pnei Hashem. Right over here, Yerah, Yerah. So we have a Xerish Shava. Malahal, Anoshim Chayavoiz, Hakel, Anoshim, Noshim, Vitaf, everybody has to go up to the base of Mikdosh once every seven years. So I think that when it comes to Alila Regal, women are also Chayiv Kamash Malan, they're potter. That's why I need a special Basok Zachor that women are potter. Omar. Okay, let's go back to the other Drosha, Zachurcha. We just said. Androgynos. Bishlam Androgynos. Androgynos who has both male and female. Itzrich. I need a Pasuk. So that the Chamina Hoyal Vislit Sadzachris the Chayiv. He should be chayv to come to be oil regal because at the end of the day, he is a zachar. He's also in a keva, but he's a zachar. And because he's a zachar, it says, call zachurcha. Anybody that has a little bit of zacharos should be able to, should be chayv to come to be some migdosh. Come ashmelon, the bria b'vniyatzmoyhu. So we have a machloiks and shas. What's an androgynous? Is it a male and a female? Is it something, a unique, different thing? So you see from here, it's a unique bria, unique bria. Doesn't have to come to the base of Mikdash. Ela tumtum sveiko. Mitzvah kra lemuti sveiko. Does the Torah have to get involved with your suffolk? Torah comes to say that if you have a suffolk, not in yah, the Achreim discuss here. Let him just go. Suffolk. Suffolk the suffolk the rice of the chumra. What's the what's the big deal? Why? Savik the rights, you have to go. So they say that perhaps on the tzad that he's a woman, he's over on Batoisif. Okay, different three roots they have. Says the Gemara. Svego, means girl and Svego, Amar Bayo, Kishabetsa Mibachutz. This is an incredible Kiddush. You know for, for certain he's a Zachar. You talk an x ray, Beitz of Bachutz. But at the end of the day, he's covered. Part of it is covered. And that gives him a heter. He doesn't have to come to the base Hamikdash. Why? Because of this chaf over here. At the end of the day, he's a zacher, 100%. Scientifically speaking, he's a zacher. Tremendous chiddush. We know he's a zacher. Doesn't get any clearer than that. But because there's a chaf here, it tells me, but if there's a membrane covering part of it, he doesn't come to the base Hamikdash. Omar Mar, Kol Zechurcha, what about the Kof Lamed? Le Rabbi Zizaktanim. The miners must come to the base of English. Oh, what about our first Mishnah of us? Nah, Chutz Bukhari Shaitu Katan. A miner is incompetent. He doesn't have to come to the base of English. He's like a Kher Shaitu. Or by Eli Kashio. So we already learned this, so you know already what the answer is. Kam Bekadan Shagil Chinuch, Kam Bekadan Shagil Chinuch. If he's a miner that came already to the, the age of six, seven, whatever the age is of Chinuch, then the father has to bring him. He has a chiyub of Chinuch. Midirais and Midirabanon. Midirabanon Well, there's no Chinuch Midiraisa. So then why is there a Pasuk? That's the Gemara's question. But if he's a miner that didn't come to the age of Chinuch, then you don't bring him to the base of Middash. That's the Gemara. Chinuch, the Rabbanon he. What are you saying that what are you bringing a pasuk for the rabbanon? And a chanami, you're right. It's hundred percent the rabbanon. Ukra asmachta ba'alma. So the pasuk call here. This is just a hint to something that the rabbanon instituted. That there's something called chinuch. 
The kid gets to seven years old, you bring him to the base of you also buy him a little of all these things. Ask the Gemara, okay, so, so, so it's not real. This call is not coming to say it. This is just an asmach. So then why do you need the word call? Comes to something else. It's not a I have a picture. I hope I don't get into trouble because of this picture. This is Hamikamets. I'm not kidding. This is a guy for a living. He goes around collecting dog poop. That's his thing. Why? He needs it to, to tan hides. But his hands smell really bad. Really bad. Maybe even if he washes his hands, it doesn't come off. There's a need in, in the Rishonim, exactly what happens. Okay, I'll put this away for now. is somebody who gathers copper. Vabursi, a tanner. He tans hides for a living. Pturin minari ia. They don't go up to the base of Mishum Shinemar. Kol zuchurcha. Mi shiyachal. So you're asking me, what is this kol? Nothing to do with the katan. Comes to say that if you pick up after dogs and you work in a tannery, you don't come to the base of Migdash. Why? Mi shiyachal aleisim kol zuchurcha. When you could come up there with all your friends. But these other guys, they can't. They shouldn't. They're a disturbance. They smell so bad. So now it comes to answer. That's what Rabbi Steinert said. Why do Anyanta we say, He shouldn't smell bad. He should be Zaycha to smell okay so that he could go out with his brothers and be Zaycha in Ali Regal. So not only are we diving that Mashiach should come, and this should be a base of English, but Mashiach should come and he shouldn't smell bad. It says in the Mishnah that women and slaves that are not freed, they don't go up to the base of English. Because it says, like we just said, but what about slaves? So it's in this Pasuk. You come in front of your master. How many masters do you have? One. Adain. It comes to exclude somebody that has two masters, so to speak. Why do you need a special pasuk by a slave? Any mitzvah that a woman is chayev, we know that a slave Slave is chayiv in mitzvahs like a woman. Whatever she's chayiv, he's chayiv. Why? Because we have Akzeri Shava Lala Mi'isha, the famous, I think if you learn Kedushin, you know this, Lala Mi'isha, that what? It says by a shivcha. You see shivcha? It says La. And this, because of Allah's Savior Kriya, is talking about a regular woman. So there's a Akzeri Shava between a shivcha, a woman shivcha, and a regular woman Lala. Whatever shivcha is chayiv, uh, isha is chayiv, whatever isha is chayiv, a shivcha is chayiv, and so too a nevid. So then, why do you need a special positive to tell us that an evid is potter from Ali Regal? If a isha is potter from Ali Regal, so a slave should also be potter. You're right. A complete slave doesn't need a pasuk. We need it for a special situation that we learned on the Avbez and if there was a slave owned by two people in a partnership and one of them released his half, so now the slave is hanging somewhere, he's in between, he's a half and half slave. So that's why you need a special pasuk that he's potter. You think that he's chayev? Look, 50% of him is a ben chayrin, he's like a regular Jew for everything. Kamash Malon, a special pasuk tells me that he is potter. Now, if you remember that we learned that Beis Hillel retracted their shita, and they say that even a chazi, ever chazi ben Chorin, since the master of the second half, must release him, and eventually in five minutes from now he's going to become 100% free. So he's free. So if he's free, he is chayiv to go to the Beis HaMikdash, according to Rashi, some are trying to argue, but that's when he retracted. We're going according to the first part when he, before he retracted. 
It says in the Mishnah, women and slaves that are not free, if they're not free at all, it means they're not released completely, just 50%. Next. All these people, lame, blind, sick, old, don't go out to the base of Mikdash three times a year. Turn around on. Regalim Prat here. Shalish Bam is just some. <laughs> I uh, gotta use some charts from last night. Why not? Pretend that I made them today. Shalish, you, you guys didn't see it anyways, right? Half of you guys were. There's supposed to be a showing here and it didn't go so well. <laughs> Only. 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 Whose fault is that? I didn't hear anyone. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Only audio, they said. Only audio. Zoom is fine. Okay. Anyway, it says Shalish Regalim. And we play on the words. Regalim means Yantav, but it means feet. And I said the Gala joke, which was corny. Uh, what? Four or five. You said three. Four or five. There wasn't three, there were four or five people. Oh. I saw seven people in this, in the, but maybe they left also. Fine. This is. Uh, what do they call this? Not a prosthetic. Uh, there's something. There's a better word. Fine. Prosthetic. Prosthetic. Bali Kavan. If you have what? What? You heard the gala joke. Oh. Ah, now to see it is to believe it. How do you make par of gala? If the cow is wearing one of these, and you, uh, Oh, he got it now. I thought, Doc, I thought you heard the shir last night. The second time is even better, the joke. Was even, even audio they didn't have. Even audio. Wow, 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 wow. What sacrifice. Torah Rabbana, regolam prat l'bali kabin. Dover achar regolam prat l'chigir l'choy l'lusum l'zogon l'she'enoi. Yochal az b'raglom. Another shot is regolam. Anybody that has trouble walking, getting up there because he's old, blind. V'she'enoi yochal az b'raglom. So you have two things here. You have a chigir. He's lame, hard for him to walk. And you also have She'eno Yochal Alas Baraglav. He can't walk up with his feet. Says the Gemara, She'eno Yochal Alas Baraglav, Lasu Yimai. So what, what else is it? We just, it's all in the list. Chiger, Choy, Lasuma, what else? Lasu Yimai. Oh, my Rava. Lasu Mefanke. Oh, this is unbelievable. A regular human being that can walk just fine. He's just a Mefunuk. He's a little spoiled. He doesn't want to remove his shoes. And you know that you must remove your shoes when you come to Beis Hamikdash, the Avdal Ramaz Bay is sponsored by Moshe Horn, Schos for Woody, who we had a sponsorship this morning for, from Shui and the KL Twins, and sponsored in honor of Eli Wishin and Loch and all his endeavors, both in Gashmis and Ruchnias. The Chsev, Kisavoy Leroy's Ponai, Mi Bikish Zois, Miyatrem, listen, Rabbi Sai, if you're thinking about doing a sponsorship for turning the daf and you want to honor me, just honor your wife or something, make it more. It's very uncomfortable for me. I don't, I'm not going to complain to this guy, but every day, in honor of myself, myself, whatever. Okay, fine. Don't. Do like the the this is Akar What? Do like the what about the emails? What about me? Yeah, but the same thing repetitive. One, one email is good, 30 days in a row. Talk. Uh, you're going to push it. I know, I know how it works over there behind the scenes. Kisavayo leroiz ponai mi big mi bikesh zois mi yadchem remoiz chatseroi. This is a Pasuk in Navi. Who asked you to come and stomp on my ground? Taisa says, he points out that there's a better Pasuk from the, it says, Mufur, Shal Na'alecha, in the Torah. Forget about Navi. In the Torah it says, remove your shoes when you come to the base of English. Taisa has a reason why they brought this Pasuk. Tana. Ha'arel. Va'atame pturim in Ariya. Somebody doesn't have bris milah. Every time it says this word in Shas, Rasha right away explains he's not a bad guy. He's a very good guy. He just can't get a bris milah because two of his brothers died during the bris. And therefore, he's not, and even though it's not his fault, he does not go up to the Beis HaMikdash, Ptur Menariya. And somebody who's Tomei, So if you see the Pasuk, it's two different Pesukim actually, one after another, Pasuk He and Pasuk Vav. It says, you should come to the Beis HaMikdash, and then it says, when you come to the Beis HaMikdash, You should bring your Karbanas. So there's coming to the Beis Hamikdash and bringing to the Beis Hamikdash, and that's the Gemara's Rasha 
If you can walk into the base of Hamikdash because you're not Tame and you have a bris mila, well, we're going to see about a bris mila in a second. And if you cannot come into the base of Hamikdash because you're Tame, then you do not bring a karba. But how do I know a nar? A nar could go into the base of Hamikdash. He's not Tame. Says Gemara Omani Rebbe Kivihi. This is Rebbe Kiva. The Maribila Aurel Bukitame, that he says that the mitzvah of whatever you have by a Tame, you have by a Naral, the Sanya Rebbe Kiva Aimer. Ish, ish. What's going on here? Ish, ish. Here, here's a Pasuk, very simple. It says in the Pasuk, ish, ish. It's literally an extra word. It could say, ish, mizer arai, vutsaro, zav. If he's Tame, but Kadashim lo yoichal, he can't eat Kachim, he can't eat Karbanas. He can't go to the Beis Hamikdash either. If he goes to the Beis Hamikdash, Chayv Misa. Ish, ish, the Rav Saarel. So because of this extra ish, this comes to include, to say that whatever the, the Tame guy has, so does the RL, says Rebbe Kiva. And therefore, just like the Tame can't bring a carbon, he doesn't go to the Beis Hamikdash for Ali Laregel, so too, somebody doesn't have Rismila. Tana Rabban. Tame, Potter Minari'ia, somebody who's Tame is Potter from going up to Beis Hamikdash, the Chsiv Uvasa Shama, the Havesim Shama. Freebie. We just read these words a second ago. Rabbi Kramer, it was great seeing you. And seriously, you come for half a shir, it's better than no shir. I promise. It's good. It gives me chizuk. By the way, you were here almost four years ago in this year, correct? Last night was four years. I don't know if you guys know. Four year anniversary from Chanichai. So, mazel tov to you. Good old days. Good old days. I used to treat you better. What happened? I used to have Nachman sitting right here. And where is he? Rabbi Yochanan ben Davoy Oimer, Rishon Rabbi Yehuda. Suma ba'achas meinu potu min ha'riyah. If he's blind in one eye, listen to this. He's blind in one eye. Potter from coming up to Beis Hamikdash. Shenemar yire yira. That's a big chiddush. Because if I asked you. So he's blind in one eye. Is he potter? Why should he be potter? He can see perfectly well. It's not uh, 100%. It's 90%. No? Close one eye and look around. It's, you can make it up there. Probably drive. Maybe you have somebody else drive. You can definitely walk. And we had this also a freebie. We had this already in the beginning of the Masechta. We are in the beginning of the Masechta, but even more beginning. What does that mean? When HaKadosh Baruch Hu comes to see you, so to speak, that's how you have to be seen. Just like HaKadosh Baruch Hu comes and he sees with full vision, with both of his eyes, so too you must have two eyes in order to do Aliyah Leregel. And you could say maybe, Al Pider Chadrush. Pider Chadrush. What is the difference between one eye and two eyes? Depth of field. It's very difficult if you close one eye to, 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 to see how deep things are and to see them in 3D. Because if you close one eye and put your finger over here and try to touch it, you might miss it because your depth of field is off. So just like a Baruch Hu sees human beings with a depth of field, he sees their inside. He doesn't look at the outside, what yamka they have and what this they have and what that they have. So too we, we should also look at the inside, at the Pneumius, Rabbi Isai, and not at the Chitzonius. Machloikis. Ravuna, Kimadalai Kro, Yire, Yira, Bachi. So now we're starting the whole sugya. It's a very long one in Sagadata about all different Tanaim and Amaraim who came to certain psukim and they started to cry. Ravuna, Kimadalai Kro, Yire, Yira, this Pasuk that we just mentioned, I guess that puts us into this whole sugya. Bachi, he would cry. Omar, Evet Shirabim and Sapalu Leroy Soy, you have a slave, us, we're slaves. Hashem so wants us, he wants to see us, and he tells us, Come to my base, Hamigdash, come see me three times a year, not just once. You need, whoever's, whoever has children that are married knows. Like, you want to see your children, you keep on saying, No, you're coming for Shab, you're coming, for, you're going to go to the other ones for Yantav, those, my, my, yeah. <laughs> last you came to, you know. You want to see your children on Yantif. You do everything you can. What? And all of a sudden Hashem just distanced us like that. Destroy the base of Migdash and we're goners. We don't have anything. 
Who asked you to come here to trample all over my, my, my... It's unbelievable. He went from, you better come and when you come, you bring me carbonates and I'm dying to see you, so to speak. Get out of here. Who asked you to come here? He started crying when he read this puzzle. Again, Ravuna. He would cry for another puzzle. You shall bring shlamim. Catch him, bring, bring a carbon and eat it. Hashem tells his slave to come and eat. Bring your, your, your carbon. He's going to attend, he's going to distance over him. I don't need your carbon, don't do me any favors. He would, he would cry. The brothers were so scared of Yosef when he revealed himself. If they were so scared of the brothers, the brothers were so scared of Yosef, of a of Adam, So certainly, when we have to stand in front of the Rabbi Nishlael, what's going on? I'm thinking, I don't know. Think about it. For 22 years, the brothers walked around. They were, they were, they were cool. There's nothing wrong. They took their brother, threw him in a pit, sold him to the Egyptians. Everything's givaldic. He deserved it. They did it. No problem. All of a sudden, when the truth stared them right in the face, their mouths popped open, the tongues came out, nothing. There was, what, nothing happened. They saw the truth. You can live your whole life in a lie. Mom is fooling yourself. The entire, your whole life, 22 years, they fooled themselves. Nothing changed. But Allah has come of a kama. When you're going to stand up there in front of the Rabbi Nishleilam, there's no excuses. What well, came to mind is again, again, I got to pound this daft thing. How many times? I can't tell you, hundreds of times. Even you did it to me, Yosef. I can't come to the share. You know why? Because 7.15 is when I take care of my children. I bring them to school and I make the sandwiches. I can't come. Ah, there's 90 people in this room now and they all have children. Most of them have children. Most of them are taking to school. No, I'm different. My children go to a different school. But you know what the problem is? The problem is... That when you get up there, because Baruch is going to show you a video of you getting up at 7.15, going on a ski trip, and going on a vacation, and going here. And then you're going to, oh boy, mm, got me. For that, you can get up at 7.15. That, you don't have children. You don't have to take a sandwich. You don't have to take them to school. Huh? To go on a business, to go to a business meeting, yeah, no problem. My wife will take care of them. But to learn a daf, all of a sudden, that you can't do. Kinevelu miponov. You guys are here. I don't know why I'm talking to you. Let's take this clip, cut it out, send it to the guy that had that excuse. Heard it all, my friends. Every excuse on the door. Once in a while, you get a good one. Like mamish, like a good one. Like, I think I'm in heart surgery. Yeah, heart surgery. I don't care. Heart surgery? There's a guy, I should show you the picture I got last night. A bacher. 47 surgeries, and he's learning the daf with us. 47, and surgery number 47 right now in the hospital today. Show you the picture here. Where's the picture? Huh? He gives surgeries. I'm talking about a guy that had a surgery, my friend. Not someone. 47. Yeah, this is beautiful. Dr. J. He was here with his father and his brother. Zuck the Gemara. Yeah, we said this already. Rebbe Lazar. Kimati lahai kro. Bachi. When Rebbe Lazar came to this party, he would cry. Yom Yishmuel Shah. Loma yir gastani lahalu isoisi. So the, we, have to, we have to rush. But the bottom line is, Shaul wanted to know what's going on with the war. He killed all the Oivi Yedonis. He couldn't ask any of the sorcerers. Shmuel was dead. So what does he do? He found one last lady that did all this, this Be'isr. And he called up Shmuel from the dead. And Shmuel was shocked. All of a sudden, they're calling him. And he thought he's going to Din. So he grabs Moshe Rabbeinu with him. Says the Gemara, Shmuel. Shmuel thought he's going to Din. Uma Shmuel, one of the greatest human beings that ever lived. Hatzadik. He was scared that they're going to be a din. Shmuel, what happened? I saw somebody, Tzadik, like Shmuel, Oilem. Two of them came up. Oilem, Trey, Mashma. It was only Shmuel. He came with Moshe Rabbeinu. Omar Lei, Dilma Chas V'Shalom, Ladina Mizbina. I think I might be coming to judgment. Kumba Hadoi, the Lekemilsa, the Ketavta Beraisa, the Lekiamte. Please come with me. 
because I kept your entire Torah, says Taisvis, there's no way that Moshe Rabbeinu would know that because Moshe Rabbeinu wasn't alive in Shmuel's days. But he said, if I did this and this wrong, was I wrong or not? No, I was right. Okay, great. Was I Moshe Rabbeinu Rabbi, whatever it is, you'll testify that I was right. Says Gemara Rabbami, Kimotelai Kroabachi. When Rambabi came to the following apostle, he cried, Yitim Bafar Piyu, put your face into the dirt. Ulayish Tikva, maybe there'll be some hope. Omar Kulei Haiva Ulay, look at this. Even though you do all this and who knows, you're still going to get judged. Rebbe Ami Kimotelai Kroabachi, you'd cry. Bakshut Tzedek, you have to seek out Tzedek. Bakshu Anova, seek out humility. Ulay Tisasru Biyoim Af Hashem, maybe you'll be <coughs> concealed in the day that Hashem is upset, Omar Kuli Hai Vulai. Everybody has to be worried. Rabbi Asi Kimadilai Krobachi. Sin Rav Evu Toiv. Should hate bad and love good. Vitsigu Bishar Mishpat Ulai. Yegna Hashem Alikei Tzvokois. Kuli Hai Vulai. Rabbi Asi Kimadilai Krobachi. Vish Nispa Beloi Mishpat. Great story, Rabbi Asi. I know it's kind of late. It's already 8 o'clock, but it's a great story. We got to go into um, Dafe because if you turn to the, the page, We'll see a giant Ahmed Beis, also a Gata, but it's just a lot of words. So the more that we can do, the better. We're not going to do that much. Just finish the story here. Bezrat Hashem. Great story. Says there's people that die without judgment. Is there a person that dies before his time? In. Yes. Rabbi had a great relationship with the Malacham Oves. Go grab this woman whose name was Miriam. She, she was a hairdresser. Who's this woman, Rabbi Isai? Look at Tysus, you're not going to believe it. She was Yashka's mother. Says the Gemara, Miriam. Miriam I have no idea. I'm just thinking out loud here that maybe because of this mistake, that's how Yashka, I, I have no idea. Maybe with, if he won, he gave her extra years by mistake. Maybe not. But a Malach makes a mistake. I don't know how that happened. He went to fetch this Miriam. He grabs a complete innocent woman. Miriam Migadla Dardike. Same first name, but she's a babysitter. What are you doing? I told you to get Yashka's mother. Okay, put her back. You know what? It's good for the count. It looks good. Our numbers are good. Don't ruin it. We're doing a great job here. We're killing them off nicely. So the question is, how did you kill somebody innocent? Says the Gemara. But you can't just kill somebody, asks the Gemara. Something has to happen to her the mazel, something has to change. She's a normal human being. How do you grab her? Says the Gemara, have a misara biyada. This is a poker, a misara. Its job is to move around hot wood. The havas koshagra, and she was. What's the lotion here? She's extending it into the into the fire pit. Umacharya tanura. And she was sweeping out. She was cleaning it up. Anyway, this piece of metal is extremely hot. It fell, hit her foot. It burned her. Oh, once you get burnt, even like that. Her mazel changed. Became bad her mazel. Poof. I was able to grab her neshama. What, you could just grab somebody that's not its time? Here, that's the puzzle we started out with. Here's a person that gets taken without judgment. It's very exact. It's a generation that comes, it's a generation that goes. I kept her around over here, whatever this means. I kept her here. And then, yes, you're right. The door went to where it needed to go at the right time. And then I gave her off. I passed her off to Duma. Duma Nafshi, we say it in, 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 in Halal. Omalei, soif soif, shnei mayavat. But, but she's supposed to live extra years. What do you do with those extra years? Interesting idea, Rabbi Isai. Omar, yikit sumi rabbanu de me'aver b'milei, there's a tzaddik that, a tamad chacham, that is a vatrin, 
and doesn't care about people say things about him and he doesn't do anything. There are people that die early in this world. What happens to the years? They go to other people. You don't even know about it. Some, somebody's supposed to die at 30. All of a sudden he lives to 50. He has no idea. He complains that he, oh, I only lived to 50. <laughs> you got 20 extra years from that guy that, I don't know, committed suicide or whatever. I don't know what. So, some guy that has extra years that are, they pass them off to somebody else. My boy Sai, have a wonderful day. Welcome to all the guests. Shalom Aleichem. Welcome, welcome.